And uh, so, yeah, but he's doing a good job. I'm going to be 2 Corinthians chapter 5. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. <coughs> And uh, I want to talk tonight about make yourself known. Make yourself known. Second Corinthians chapter 5. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to start at verse 9. Wherefore we labor that whether present, uh, whether, let me tell you again. Wherefore we labor that whether present or absent, we may be, may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. And that's always one of the things people don't realize with judgment seat. Some people are ashamed, and, and you're, it's not for eternity where they go to heaven or hell. That's, that's not the judgment seat of Christ. That's for rewards. But some are ashamed. Every man ready to see the things done in his body according to what he had done, whether it's good or bad. Okay? And uh, you're going to give an account, and it'll be, it'll be uh, well done, a good and faithful servant, or that wicked and slothful servant. And uh, you want to you have confidence, it says in First John 2, that when he appears... You'll not be ashamed before him at his coming. Um, okay, verse 11. Knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are made manifest unto God, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. For um, uh, we commend not ourselves again unto you, but give you occasion to glory on our behalf, that ye may have somewhat to, uh, somewhat to answer them that glory in appearance, but not in heart. And so let's go ahead and pray and we'll get into this. Father, thank you for the chance to preach the word tonight. I pray tonight that your spirit would uh, speak to us. Lord, we know that uh, we're going to read about the Holy Spirit a little bit here. Father, you know he needs to be manifested, Lord. He's got to speak and lead and guide us into all truth, Lord. And I pray tonight that that would be done. And I pray tonight the word of God would be clear and you'd draw us into better uh, uh, service for you and more love for you and to uh, uh, better for the kingdom, Lord. Uh, give me your power. What? I look like or how this sounds doesn't matter to me, Father. I just want uh, your word to be clear and people to be impacted. And we pray tonight for your Holy Spirit to do so and to uh, work in a great way. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Manifest, it's, it's used a couple times here in verse 11, and that's where we're going to, kind of our key verse. The word manifest is the Greek word um, phanero'o. It means to render apparent or to appear. So um, you use it in many ways. Uh, we use it in our language. You know, a ghost manifested itself or whatever. It's used in many ways. Manifest means to uh, make something appear or, or uh, to render apparent, make it so it can be seen is what manifest uh, means. And so um, it's a word that's used a lot in the Bible. It's a good Bible study. We're just going one direction with that word tonight. But that the word means to render apparent or to appear. And uh, we should make such a difference... We should make such a difference that it gets noticed, that we become manifest. In other words, we don't pass through this world and there's no difference. There's no, nobody knows it's not a difference in eternity. It's not a difference in lives. It's not a difference in, in heaven. Uh, it says, um, it talks about being made manifest. A difference was noticed and something was done and we should be made manifest you see this in verse 11 knowing uh, there uh, verse therefore the terror of the Lord we persuade uh, we persuade men but we are made manifest unto God and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences I would hope that if you moved away and God moved you to Texas or Florida or Maine or wherever that that I, that I, in the time that you were with me, there would be something you left and said, Pastor Byram impacted me. So there's something, there's something different. I, I, uh, you just didn't go on and say, I went to some church somewhere for a while when I was in Seattle, and, and there was a pastor there, really good looking guy, but I don't remember much else about him. And, and that would not be, well, remember that part, but, but that would not be, that would be the least of the goals or things that I would care about. Um, when, you're, when you look like this, you don't need to be reassured. And uh, so it's not that important to me. But, but you would, it would be very important that somehow I had an impact on you and, and I was manifest in your life. It was something that made an impact. It was something remembered. It was something 
that made an impact and was manifest. It was revealed, appearance in your life that mattered. And so just some things are supposed to be manifest. First, it's interesting, and the first one is we're manifest to God. Verse 11. It says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, he persuade men, but we are made manifest unto God. It's interesting. Paul said, hey, we're making a difference here. We're persuading men. And we are manifest. We've appeared to God. We are on God's radar. We are noticed by God. I understand God knows everybody's there, but, you know, when I'm preaching here, I know everybody's here, but some people are here, and some people are sleeping, and some people are spacing off, and some people, they can come into service and leave, and, and whether I notice them depends sometimes they laugh at my jokes and notice them they don't i don't like them and uh, and 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 so but there's there's things that that are are made manifest and 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 god kind of takes notice of some believers let me show you a great example of that the book of job talk about being made manifest to god god did not have to scream god did not have to scream or job did not have to scream hey god hey look uh, look what i'm doing God had already taken notice of Job. He stood out to God. He was made manifest. He was the one in the whole world at the time that God mentions, that we know of. In verse 8, it says, The Lord said unto Satan, Hast thou conserved my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth? A perfect and an upright man, and one that feareth God and escheweth evil. Don't you think Job was made manifest to God? Yes. God's bragging on Job. That's pretty good. I, I don't want it to be the other way. How, I don't want Satan to say, how about your servant so-and-so? <laughs> I, I want, I, I, God had noticed Job and brought it up like a proud grandpa. Because he's made manifest. His life was such a way, his, his impact was such a way that God himself was noticing. We are made manifest unto God, it said. And, 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 and you can be a, a, a little widow who can't go out her door and be manifest to God. God knows all about you and your prayer life. You get made manifest to God. Um, but there's a lot of Christians that heaven... Oh, yeah, they are saved, aren't they? Are they still alive? Are, what are they? Are they still down there? The other ones, God's saying, goodness, they are. Uh, ring the bells again. They've got to celebrate. Another soul saved. That one trusts me. That one's raising their family for me. You're made manifest to God. Don't you want, don't you want God, with all the misery and mistreatment that he faces, to look down and smile sometimes at you? They give God a good day. You know how something times you get you, everything's so miserable. You got to kind of think of something positive. I want to be that. I want to be what God looks toward when He's having a bad day. I want to be made manifest to God. Second thing, who, thing who are supposed to be manifested to? Back to our text there, Second Corinthians and uh, chapter five. Second Corinthians chapter five. <clears throat> now a lot of people think they may be made manifest to God as they make a lot of noise in church. A lot of people make a lot of noise. Yeah. Okay, that's not what it's about. Okay, God is not impressed with chaos. Okay, there, there's things he talks about that are that, that, that we get, that gets attention. And the second thing is manifest other believers. Second Corinthians chapter four verse eleven. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but are made manifest unto God. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Wow. Paul said, I believe that I left an impact on you. I, I believe I've been made manifest in your conscience. You know, Paul spent time with me. He taught me better than that. You know, Paul, he told us about winning souls. And, you know, I got to go witness this person. I remember uh, 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 when, when he witnessed to me, he says, I hope that I've been made manifest in your conscience. I made a difference. I've, been, I've impacted lives. 
Can you can you just think just if you if you you take a church and outside in the church circle and that's important too. Uh, we we think we see that here. But do you do you know how little impact the average Christian has on the world? It's stunning. Almost every person who ever comes to another church here, when they come here, they're stunned because they begin to have an impact for the first time by teaching them ministry and getting them out in God's work with the power of the Holy Spirit. And they begin to make an impact. And, and, and we should be made manifest to men. They should know that somebody out there is making a difference. Somebody out there is helping people. Somebody out there is, is, is impacting lives. And, and, and goodness, you need that right now. We are in such a mess up society that this, this, this lock up, this lockdown thing, same thing, this, this thing is, is messing people up so much mentally right now. The suicide rates are so far out there. People are in such depression right now. We got to go out there and make ourselves manifest in society that there's some joy and peace that we have right now. Make ourselves manifest in the world. Most people don't even know who goes to church on the corner. Because the church has never made any difference, and the people never make any difference, and never made manifest in lives. I mean, who is different because you've been made manifest in their life? Who's Dave you brightened? Who have you encouraged? Who have you uh, brought from, from, from the power of Satan to God, as it talks about here? Who have you... Have you rescued from depression or anxiety who have you went and made a difference in our kids lives because our kids were struggling and you went in that life and made a difference we're made manifest to men and paul says i trust we made manifest in your conscience you'll not forget us we've made a difference manifest to who to god to other believers number three manifest to the devil Acts chapter 19 <clears throat> Acts chapter 19. Now, have you ever made manifest the devil? See, if you, if you are making a difference to the kingdom of God, then hell knows about you. Most Christians, hell doesn't need to worry about them. They're the fifth string quarterback. The other coaches not need to study for them. Are you manifest to the devil? Acts 19 yeah, and verse 13. Then certain of the vagabond Jews, exorcists, took upon them to, to, to no, love that phrase, took upon them to call self callings, uh, to call over uh, call, to call over them which had spirits in the name of the Lord Jesus, saying, We adjure you by the by Jesus whom Paul preaches. That's too far of a disconnection, by the way. Okay. And there were seven sons of Siva, a Jew, a chief of the priests, which did so. And the evil spirit answered and said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know. But who are ye? That's a bad day when a demon rips you. You know that? <laughs> and 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 it's pretty it's pretty bad. And he says, He says, I adjure you by Jesus whom Paul preached. He says, Jesus, I know him. I know Paul. Who are you? And why? Because Satan didn't know him. He never made manifest them. But he, of course he knew Jesus, but he knew Paul. Somehow the demons have been talking about him. And, and they knew he was made manifest to Satan. Okay? So was Job. So was David. He stood to resist David. So was Joshua in the book of Zechariah, chapter 3. Satan knows the people he has to stop. You know, if, if you follow sports and you follow football, um, Bill Belichick is, I don't like him, but he's maybe the best coach ever. And he does the same thing in every single Super Bowl, and nobody ever catches on. Same thing. He's won six Super Bowls. 
He picks the best player on the other team, and he takes him out of the game. Every year. Every single Super Bowl. He just says, who's their most impactful player? And that one, we're going we're gonna to plan the whole, we're, that person's not going to have an impact. And it works. Okay? You don't, it, look, whoever the Seattle's playing this week, Washington? Who are they playing? I was playing somebody this week. Huh? No, no, you were praying. And, uh, and, 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 and <clears throat> I don't either. He does. And, uh, and uh, the Giants, are they playing? They're playing the Giants this week. And, uh, and so with the Giants, the Giants, they'll know who, who Russell Wilson is. Right? But I guarantee you, they don't probably study for the number sixth linebacker. And Satan... He knows because certain people are messing his plans up. And so he knows about them. Have you ever manifest to hell because you make a difference? I mean, does Satan even worry about you? Do the demons say who? Or, or are you like them? Paul, we know. Paul, we know. Have you made manifest? Look at, uh, watch that Mark. Remember, Jesus was trying not to reveal himself at the start of his ministry. It was important that he didn't. And uh, Mark chapter 1, and just show you a couple examples of this. Mark chapter 1. And, uh, Verse 23, it says, There was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do, uh, do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. He knew who he was. Verse 34, And he healed many uh, that were sick of, other, uh, of diverse diseases and cast out many devils. And he suffered not the devil to speak because they knew him. And so Jesus and Paul, of course, they knew uh, these things. And, and, and I want you to understand that, that are you made manifest the devil because you're making a difference? Because the devil's afraid you're going to reach your parents because you're really praying for them. Because the devil's afraid that you're going to you're, you're you're going to raise your family right. Because the devil knows you're going to win souls. Because the devil knows you have a prayer life. Because the devil knows that you're out in there making a difference in life. So you're trying to lift the fallen. You're trying to restore lives that he's destroyed. Does the have you been made manifest to the devil? It says we've been made manifest. How do you get made manifest? Just some things in the Bible here. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians, uh, to our text there. 2 Corinthians chapter, chapter um, 5. Are we doing okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How we doing? We're, we're staying awake? We're being made manifest? Is the word of God being made manifest in your heart? Are you learning something? Is this going to impact you? How, do you? how are you made manifest in these spiritual realms or in lives? Number one, soul winning, witnessing, preaching the gospel. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. It says, verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. It's not terror toward us, but hell. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but are made manifest unto God. We're out there preaching the gospel. Colossians, let me give you Colossians here. Soul winning makes an impact on the people you witness to and on heaven and on hell. You take people away from the devil. You, the, you, 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 you make heaven rejoice. There's rejoicing amidst the angels over one sinner that repents. And this person the, whose life you impacted. Look, uh, 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 Roman White and, 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 and Mike Mutzler had a huge impact on me. Okay, both of them witnessing me, both of them discipling me, a huge impact on me. And that is, that's a life that had an impact. There's a manifest because they witnessed to somebody. Colossians chapter 4 <clears throat> and verse 3. With all praying also for us that God would open unto us a door of utterance to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds that I may make it manifest as I ought to speak. He says, I want to make the gospel 
manifest. I need to do that. Number one, how do you make manifest is soul winning. Number two, uh, min, uh, uh, manifesting Jesus in your body. Let's go back to 2 Corinthians, but chapter 4 this time. Manifesting Jesus in your body. There's a lot of verses you, we're seeing here about manifesting. And uh, we want to manifest Christ in our body. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and we'll read these verses probably a couple times for different things. Verse 10, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For which, also, for which we, live, uh, we which live are also delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Twice, the Apostle Paul says, hey, we're going through things so people can, uh, so Jesus can be manifested. The life of Christ. Paul says, in my body, I'm bearing scars and beatings. And people are able to see me loving them and saying, Father, forgive them. Why? Because my beatings are leading to people seeing what Jesus was like. And Jesus is being manifest through me and my beatings and my suffering in the flesh. I'm able to manifest Jesus. He wanted to manifest Christ so, so bad, he said, hey, man, I get to do this. I get to suffer like Jesus physically, and then I get to show that picture. The life of Christ is manifest in his body. You want to, you want to, you want to be made manifest? Manifest Jesus in your body. That the life of Christ you might be manifest in my mortal flesh. Number three, manifesting Christ anywhere God puts you. Philippians, manifesting Christ anywhere God puts you. This is something that I've, I, I, I want you to get. I see, the, I see so often the devil just sits on your shoulder and says, you are in this place. You shouldn't be in this place. You, this is a miserable place. You've messed it up. You're not doing anything here. This, but understand, that's what Joseph could have said. And Paul didn't think of things that way. God got put in a strange place, but that was a dark place. That dark place was a life. It's, it's great because when you decide to manifest Christ, you understand that wherever God puts you, if it's a dark place, you now have a chance to manifest Christ in a dark place. Philippians, I like this verse, chapter 1 and verse 13. So that in my bonds... In Christ are manifest in the palace and in all their places. He says, what did it say? Look at verse 12. I would, not have, I would have you understand, brethren, that the things which have happened to me happen rather the furtherance of the gospel, so that in my bonds, in Christ, are manifest in all the palace and in all their, and in all their places. He says, look, me going to prison in the palace has been a way to bring the gospel to new places. I love what he says. He says, the saints of Caesar's household salute you. Paul was in a dungeon under Caesar's household. But he had a church going there because everywhere he went, he started a church, even in prison. Amen. And then God brought Onesimus and other people to him. Uh, and Philemon, and, I mean, Philemon to him, and he's, uh, no, Onesimus, and he brought him to him, and he, he, he manifested Christ in prison. He's in jail in Philippi, and he's singing praise to God at midnight. Why? Because everywhere he went was a new place to shine the light of Christ. And if you want to manifest, uh, be made manifest, manifest Christ wherever God puts you. Anywhere you are put, it is a place God wants to bring his light to. You don't have to be overcome by the darkness. You can bring the light. Okay, one of two things will happen. It will become a light place or the devil will kick you out. So I got to get him out of here. Okay, you got out of the dark place either way. But don't, don't just go into the darkness of the place you're at. Bring the light of Christ there. Be made, let Christ be made manifest there. Next, good works, Matthew chapter 5. How can we be made manifest? By good works. <clears throat> How can we be revealed and shown? Matthew 5, 
uh, talks about this and talks about being made manifest and we should be made manifest and the church he made manifest what a disaster right now with covid all these churches are out of business and dark and not making any difference in the world and are joining the miserable club <laughs> that's ex you know what the bible says you are the light and they just they just jumped in the dark as everybody else said well it's dark time What's it say in Matthew chapter thir five verse thirteen? You're the salt of the earth, but if the salt had lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out. Emphasis mine, uh, and, be t and to be trodden under foot of men. Good for nothing. Goodness, I'd hate to have God say that about me. You're the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light to all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. <clears throat> your good works are a, candlestick, a light in a candlestick, a city on a hill. They cannot be hid. Doing good works in a dark world brings clarity. It shows light. It brings glory to God. Do good works. It's the time right now more than ever. <clears throat> it's time to set up. It's time to, to step it up, <laughs> not step down. Okay, and, and, and you want to be made manifest, you have to do good works that are so obvious in a bad world that it, they just shine. Next, you want to be made manifest, it's by your lifestyle. Back to 2 Corinthians chapter, um, let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. <coughs> 2 Corinthians chapter 4. <coughs> Verse 2, <clears throat> but renounce the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, <clears throat> it is hid to them that are lost. Okay, we read in verse 10 and 11, always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which are live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. He says we are manifesting the life of Christ. Our lifestyle shines a light. And it shows God's glory. It makes a difference. That's the way to be made manifest is, is renouncing the, the wickedness and living a godly life. And we should be doing that next by letting the Spirit manifest himself. First Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit's a lot different than this world's spirit. And the Holy Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, temperance, these things are going to manifest themselves in our lives, and the world will see them. Don't quench the Spirit. The Spirit wants to show himself. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. <clears throat> Through his great power. In uh, verse, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 7. It says, but the manifestation of the Spirit is to give unto every man to profit with all by letting the Holy Spirit manifest himself. A couple more quick verses. 1 John chapter 3. <clears throat> 1 John <clears throat> chapter 3. See, everything's going to be made manifest in eternity. Your goodness, your badness, the light you shone, the souls you won, the time you just took it and was, were a servant and suffer yourself to be defrauded. God's going to make everything clear because God likes to bring things into light. <clears throat> we can maybe manifest right now and it'll all come out the truth of everything. First John chapter 3 and a couple of verses, verses 
um, First John chapter three verses nine and ten. Whatsoever is born of God doth not commit sin, for a seed remaineth in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. What you are comes out. A lot of people think they can do, and that makes them something. No, you do because you are something. You read in 1 John chapter 2, it'll say, look, these people went out with us, but they went out. That it might be manifest they were not all of us. They were the of Antichrist. But they were in the church for a while. And what you are, if you go end up going and doing evil, it just manifested what you were. You can blame it on the church. You can blame it on, you know, whatever happened. But ultimately, if you do evil, it's the Bible says. It manifested who you are from. Because those that are born of God cannot continue to commit sin and commit sin and commit sin. And the children of the devil are manifested. It just comes out what you are and whether you're born again. Live, I like this. I'm going to go take it first, John. John chapter 3, we'll finish up here. Talk about being manifested, made manifested. See, I want to say this. <clears throat> you are drawn. Live to, let me see it. Live to once your deeds manifested. Live in such a way that you're okay if people find out the truth about you. Where if you say, you know, if they find out the truth, they'll be impressed. They might not find out the truth. Some things have to be manifested in eternity. Okay? But, don't be a person who's afraid of your, the truth about you coming out. Don't be afraid that, that pastor is going to come by your house. Because I will. And, uh, and, uh, and, 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 uh, and, and don't, be, don't be like that. Okay, what's the first? Look what John chapter three says. This is not long after John three, but everybody John three sixteen. Everybody kind of hangs around to verse sixteen, um, but uh, it's an amazing chapter. And uh, <clears throat> let's look at verse nineteen. For uh, John chapter three verse nineteen, and this is a condemnation that light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. <clears throat> you should be an open book. You should be someone who doesn't mind the truth being manifested. Because you were doing right, even though you were accused of wrong. And vice versa. You know, you, you always are careful about people who are afraid of commitment. About joining the church. About getting married. About Mike. Is, because they're not afraid of light and commitment and accountability. And all those things. <clears throat> I don't think I want to get counsel. Why not? It's free to open door. Then you don't have to do what we say. Well, you know, they don't just need to know everything. Why not? I always like when you have a couple and one of them wants counsel and the other one doesn't. Okay, and, and uh, when, when the teenager doesn't want to talk to mom and dad about the guy, why not? He's a good guy. I just don't want to talk to mom and dad about him. Oh, why don't you want to talk to mom and dad about him? They won't understand. He's on probation. It's okay. He's not in jail anymore. And, 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 and you know, he needed to make a living. And the person shouldn't have left their keys in the car. 
and, 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 and when you're afraid. Amen. It got quiet in there. My teenagers all started doing this. Amen. It's more fun to preach that when you're the parent. Amen. And, uh, and uh, so, but you know, it, they that have good deeds come to the light. They come to the light. They go to God and, and talk to God about things. Why? Because they came short. They want to be honest about it. They want to get it right. They, they know what's real. But notice bad places are always dark. Bars. Yeah. Bad churches. Okay. It's, it's darkness. People love darkness. That's, by the way, you do, not a lot of people are doing bad at 6 in the morning. Sure. And 7 in the morning, I hear. And, uh, and uh, most people are doing wrong at, at 1 in the morning. Yeah. Be in your house at 1 in the morning. Okay, and 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 <clears throat> and because there's just something about you know you're doing wrong, so let's go ahead and turn the lights real low. Okay, and 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 be careful about that. It, but it, but it's it's talking about Jesus and God and coming to the light. If I say people don't want to go to church, especially a church is going to preach the truth. Why? Because they don't want they don't want to come to the light. Their deeds might be made manifest. Let's read that again. It's fascinating. And this is con the condemnation that, that light came into the world, Jesus. And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light. And that cometh he to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in God. By the way, if you have evil deeds, you come to the light. Come to God, confess Him, and get it right. Amen. The devil's going to try to make you be ashamed and be afraid to come to God. That's exactly where you need to go. And come to the light, because that's where you get fixed. Instead of hiding in shame. And, 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 and come to the light. And so what do you mean manifest? Make yourself known. Make yourself known. Make yourself manifest. Make yourself seen. Don't stand in front of Look at me, everybody. No, that's, that's Matthew 6 says don't do that. Just do what you should do. It, the city that's set on a hill does not need fireworks. It just needs to be a light. The candle on a candlestick just needs to be lifted up. Okay? It doesn't need to say, hey, look at me, aren't I light? No, it just gives light to the house. Our church is not a big talking church. If you haven't noticed that. We don't go and trumpet ourselves around the neighborhood, look what we do. We just do, and everybody notices it. That's okay. Let them see your good works and glorify your Father. Because we need to be a candle that is set on a hill. Cannot be, uh, a city set on a hill cannot be hid. And so make a lot of impact with God. Make an impact with people. Make an impact on hell. Be manifest. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the truth of the Bible, Lord, as we just look a little bit on this one angle of manifest. Lord, there's a lot of good stuff there, and I pray tonight you would help us. <clears throat> Um, to really be made manifest. Paul knew he'd been made manifest in heaven and made manifest in their conscience. And then the demon said he's made manifest to them. This man was making a difference. And I pray, Lord, that we would do the same. I pray that we'd make a difference. Whether we're the widow praying at home, whether we're the, the faithful parent, whether we're the uh, 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 preacher, whether we're the, the, the teenager who needs to reach their parents, Lord, whatever it is, wherever we are, the kid in public school, Lord, I pray that we'd be made manifest. May we really get attention of heaven. And, uh, and may you be impressed. And may we make an impact on lives. And may hell be afraid of us because we are bringing your presence all over, all over, Lord. And certainly, Lord, may we be soul winners, preaching the gospel of every creature. We pray you would take these things and uh, help us to make ourselves manifest in Jesus' name.